Welcome to EOS Locate for ArcGIS Collector. EOS Locate is a solution based within EOS Tools Pro that allows a field worker to collect geo-reference data of underground assets by using Esri's ArcGIS Collector. The data collected includes all parameters from a locator device, such as depth below cover and frequency, along with high-accuracy GNSS locations and metadata from your Aero receiver. This video series will walk you through the steps required to perform your locate workflow. This video starts with creating your locate layer in ArcGIS Pro using the EOS Locate Toolbox and publishing your web map. Before you start, make sure your ArcGIS Pro software license is up to date and that you have downloaded the EOS Toolbox for ArcGIS zip file from your EOS Locate manual to your PC and extracted the content. If you still need the manual, visit the EOS Locate page at the link below. Now open up ArcGIS Pro and log into your ArcGIS account. Create or open a new project. We are going to title our project Locate Demo. Next, click on View and select Catalog Pane. On the Catalog Pane, on the right, select Databases and right-click on the database of your map. Select New, then Feature Class to create the feature class that will be used with the locator metadata. Now, on the Define page, name your feature class an alias. We will name ours Locate Demo. Next, select Point as the feature class type. Make sure to check the Z values box in the geometric properties. Click on Next twice. Now, in the Spatial Reference menu, you will select your horizontal and vertical datum. For this example, we will set the horizontal datum to WGS 1984 Web Mercator Auxiliary Sphere, because this is the world's most commonly used horizontal datum. Next, we will set our vertical datum to NAVD 88, because we are in the United States. EOS Tools Pro will output real-time orthometric heights based on the US Geoid 18 model. If you are unsure of which coordinate system or datum to use, be sure to consult with your GIS specialist. Click Finish. Your feature class is now prepared. Now, we will add a global ID to your web layer. In the catalog pane, click Databases. Then, right-click your locate layer. Hover over Manage, then click Add Global IDs. Next, you will add fields for locate and GNSS metadata to the feature class you just created. To do this, from the catalog pane, right-click on Toolboxes, then select Add Toolbox. This is where you will need the EOS Toolbox for ArcGIS that you downloaded before the tutorial. Browse and select the extracted EOS Positioning Systems.tbx Toolbox. Click OK. The EOS Positioning Systems Toolbox should now be listed under the Toolboxes menu. Right-click on the Add Locator fields and click Open. In the Geo Processing pane, click the File Folder icon to generate a pop-up asking you to select your feature class. Select the Point Feature class for which you want to populate the metadata and click Open. Now, once the Geo Database is opened, select the Feature class and click OK. Click Run to add the metadata to the Feature class. This process may take a few minutes to complete. Now, under the Catalog tab, under the Project tab, select Databases. Right-click your layer and select Add to Current Map. Your Point Feature class now has the GNSS metadata and the EOS Locate fields. To verify that this is the case, go into the Contents tab. Right-click your layer and hover over Design. Then, click Fields. Now, you should see all of your GNSS and Locate fields displayed in the table. Now that you have added fields for GNSS and Locator metadata to your feature class, you will publish your web layer. From the Share tab, select Web Layer, Publish Web Layer. Under the General tab, enter the following item details, name, summary, and tags. You can also select which groups you would like to share the web layer with. Next, tap the Configuration tab and enter the feature properties for your layer by pressing the Edit button. Check the following boxes under the Operations property. Enable editing and allow editors to 
Enable Sync, and Export Data. Next, click Publish. To confirm that the layer is successfully published, you should receive this confirmation. Now your web layer has been successfully published. Next, you can move on to creating your web map. Under the Share tab, click Web Map. Now, under the General tab, enter the following item details. Name, Summary, and Tags. Be sure to add the tag EOS underscore locate. You must add the EOS underscore locate tag, otherwise the solution will not work. Select who you'd like to share the map with and click Share. To confirm that the web map successfully shared, you should receive this confirmation. Congratulations, you have now successfully published your web map. Next, we will log into ArcGIS Online to configure your attributes. Under the Content tab, click on your Locate web map. Now, click on Open in Map Viewer on the right. Under the Content tab, you should see your Locate layer. Expand the options by clicking the ellipses and select Configure Pop-up. In the Configure Pop-up section, click Configure Attributes. Now, in the Configure Attributes pop-up, select all fields that contain latitude and longitude values. Set the format to eight decimal places and then click OK. Do this for every latitude or longitude point. For latitude and longitude, you will modify four total fields, including Esri GNSS underscore latitude, Esri GNSS underscore longitude, EOS underscore latitude underscore shift, and EOS underscore longitude underscore shift. While still in the configure attribute pop-up, also select all fields that contain altitude values. Set the format to three decimal places and click OK. For altitude, you will modify seven total fields, including Esri GNSS underscore altitude, EOS underscore ortho underscore height, EOS locate underscore depth, EOS locate underscore marker underscore depth, EOS locate underscore GNSS ANTH, EOS underscore undulation, and EOS underscore altitude underscore shift. When done, go back to the Configure pop-up pane and click OK. Now, set your map to the zoom level desired and save your map. Here, you can give your map a title, category, and assign tags. Once again, be sure to tag your map with EOS underscore locate. The solution will not work without this tag. Now, share your map with its desired user groups by choosing from the options. Click Done. To verify that your map is properly published, open up ArcGIS Collector on your iOS device. Browse to the group that you have shared the map with and open the map. Click on the plus button. The newly created Locate Demo layer should be listed. Nice work! Your web map is now configured. You will find a complete manual on how to set up EOS Locate with your kit. If you have any additional questions, please contact technical support on the EOS website.